We are recording in three, two, one. <coughs> la 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 la. <laughs> la 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 la. That's Ned. That's Ned. Who's Ned? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Teacher Think Aloud podcast, a podcast for reflective practice for teachers of English around the world. I'm your co-host Shay. And I'm Anna. <laughs> and today, <laughs> we're extra corny, I guess, uh, but today, listeners, we are reflecting. Yeah, we're taking a look back over the last year, which has been, you know, a bit of a whirlwind for us, <sighs> and we're sharing some takeaways. Mm -hmm. As individuals, educators, and podcasters who don't always get it right on the first go, right, Anna? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's for sure. Mm. So here are some bloopers to commemorate some of those moments where we definitely didn't. Mm. Did I just say those words in order? We've got a midi... <laughs> a medieval a literacy. Midi yeah. <laughs> to explode... Ex explode the learner. Explode. Right. Mm -hmm. the, the algorithm chooses what they'll respond to most positively. Do that again. You just said chooses. <laughs> chooses! <laughs> Especially in a setting such as the English villain. <laughs> the English villains. We're, we're all English villains. The goal is to construct a simple SAMR lateral, la lateral, whatever. Placing value on learners' mothers. Their mothers. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely very important, yes. I, I love the level of specificity. <laughs> I'd say it's often overestimated. Underestimated. <laughs> Definitely not. Maybe I overestimated, but <laughs> what's happening? What's subliminal I wrote messages, this on maybe? the plane, man. I was oh, okay. so tired. All right, uh, all right. On our upcoming Fred's the Fred's. <laughs> Fred's. Fred's. Who dis? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say that again. Do that again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't hold it together right now. Man. Those bloopers always get me. Yeah, somehow it doesn't get old. <laughs> so Shay, let's get started. Mm. I don't know if you remember, but in episode 46, mm. we did this icebreaker with Karine and Alex where we asked them to pick an adjective to describe each mm -hmm. other. And you might remember we mentioned that we would try out our little icebreaker on each other. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as a little end of the year exercise... Shay, want to give it a go? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I need some warming up today. It's been a while since we last recorded. <laughs> so just to note, yeah. listeners, this is the first time either of us is hearing the adjectives we've chosen for one another. So mm -hmm. everything you hear today is real, raw emotion. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Anna, want to start? You go first. <sighs> okay. I'm nervous. My heart is like pounding right I'm now. I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so my adjective for you, Shay, is fierce. And I'm going to get really emotional here, but oh, because man. it's just like you take life's challenges by the horns and glide through them with grace. And uh, you're just, you know, you're just like a powerhouse, a, a force of nature, and you're just so brilliant in what you do. And also, you are the fiercest, fiercest friend. I could oh ask my. for I just you know I just feel so loved when I'm with you like before this recording you were just like checking in on my mental health because you were really worried about me in dark oh. Seattle days so fierce that's that's oh that's your gosh. adjective <laughs> I'm gonna cry <laughs> oh, no. well I'm you know I I'm jeez oh, well I'm I'm kind of bummed that I let you go first because I chose the adjective committed for you mm, yes mm -hmm. because ever like since it. our very first interaction you have just shown such immense commitment to everything that you've ever put your your mind to and that's true <laughs> of projects you know your work in advocacy your work in well life just everything that I see you do I see you go with just such intense commitment and as a friend <laughs> I've never seen someone who 
just really believes in the power of friendship and connection as you do. So you are such a loyal and committed friend. Um, hmm. So we have, well, I didn't expect us to have similar adjectives to describe each other, but I think it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. You know, I was worried we were going to choose the same exact word, to be <laughs> honest with you, but I'm glad we at least found some variations on the theme. Oh, there's like, a common thread thank though, you. Right? It's obvious why yeah. we like each other. How yeah. emotional. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what a love uh, fest. I know, I know. Your face um, is red. I'm getting really emotional. I know. You it's okay? So <laughs> I'm good. I just love you so much. I love you, girlfriend. Okay, okay. let's okay. box that up. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm putting the emotions away. Um, okay. Can you, yes. can you keep us going here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, all of my end of year celebrations tend to be emotional. So mm-hmm. on that note, listeners, we're going to extend the love outward now to you To round Mm. off our third year of the podcast, we want to thank you all for supporting us in all of our weirdness. (laughs) Yeah, we just love the community and the reflection that this podcast has brought us, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get into those reflections then, Anna. Okay. So starting with some personal updates from the past year. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) It's been a pretty crazy year. On all accounts. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So to start this year, we started producing video episodes. That's, you know, that's pretty Mm -hmm. fun. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I I thought we were doing personal reflections first. Oh. Now, listeners, Sorry. you can see how much we love and live by this <laughs> yeah. podcast. That's where her mind yeah. went right well, away. Well, I mean, it's pretty hard to <laughs> compartmentalize, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. mm, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> and also the videos, you know, it's also a personal skill I've been building mm-hmm. out. I, I felt so honored that you let me take over producing and editing our video episodes. It's something mm. that I've been enjoying learning immensely through the podcast and also in my day job. Mm-hmm. Well, I let you, Anna, because I don't have that skill set. Oh, right? I so. bet you do. You could pull it out. You could pull well, it out. So our venture into video episodes started with our Friends of the Podcast episodes. It was a fun new format that added well, what we think is an exciting dimension to our podcast. Yeah. I mean, I, I just have to say, Anna, you you killed it. I oh, really stop. admire your skills. You know, I know you're going to say, oh, it's not where I want to be, but... You know, no. that's, that's who you are, but still, you impress me. <laughs> yeah, you know me too well, Shay. Uh, there's mm-hmm. a lot of space for development, but I do feel True. proud of what I've accomplished, we've accomplished mm-hmm. so far. Yeah. Ah, okay, I'm glad. What else? Well, okay, on the teaching front, as you know, Shay, but maybe our listeners don't, I've been out of the classroom for a bit, focusing more mm-hmm. on the instructional design and learning and development side of things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So exciting news. Uh, mm-hmm. In January, I'm starting a certificate program in instructional design at Georgetown University to level up my skills. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. I'm really excited for you to go back to school. That'll be <laughs> uh, fun. Yeah. Well, uh, once upon a time, I did say that I would never Uh take classes again while working (laughs) full time. But, you know, here we are. (laughs) Uh, I remember that. I should have paid more attention as your accountability partner. But I'm sure it won't be the last time either. You know, you're Mm -hmm. a lifelong learner. We are as teachers. Yeah. Truth. Mm. I am especially looking forward to solidifying the skills I've been building in my work at English language programs Mm -hmm. where I've been developing master classes for current participants and alumni in Mm -hmm. different ELT topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm sure having the formal learning experience will make you feel more comfortable using the title of instructional designer. Yeah, Mm. I think so. So what about you, Shay? Mm. You've had a pretty uh, hectic year, to say the least. (laughs) I'll try to keep this brief and and as little pain as possible for our listeners. Um, Well, okay. So in case you don't know, listeners, I just spent the last five months teaching writing at a university in Chittagong, Bangladesh, uh, where I was also supporting teachers in a pre-undergraduate program. And it definitely pushed me out of my comfort mm-hmm. zone in, in ways mm-hmm. that I didn't expect, really. Yeah, how so? Tell mm-hmm. us more. Well, as an introvert who had worked alone in my apartment for the last three years, yeah. <laughs> just like total solitude, 
<laughs> I was really in for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I imagine that was a tough transition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a small campus, and all faculty live in the same building, mm-hmm. with students in dorms right around the corner. So I really had to train myself to be ready to interact with colleagues and students. The moment I left my apartment, Mm -hmm. you know, that includes rides in the elevator, trips to the dining hall. I would always run into someone. Always there, And don't get me wrong, I enjoy my colleagues and my students, but there is essentially no work-life separation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. you you need that time to detach a bit. Mm -hmm. But getting back to in-person teaching and delving deep into giving feedback to student writers was, I mean, it was just incredibly fulfilling. I missed that. My students were amazing, uh, truly among some of the most motivated that I've ever worked with. So that was really wonderful. Yeah, you you make me wish I was back in the classroom. Yeah, it wasn't all smooth sailing, though. Uh, Honestly, I struggled with the way management operated there. Mm -hmm. I, I won't go into detail here, but it was by far one of the most challenging professional experiences I've faced Mm -hmm. so far. And I really missed having a more balanced work schedule. You know, I missed dabbling. (laughs) You and your dabbling. Every day I'm dabbling. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, chalk it up (laughs) to another experience. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do things that you know are going to challenge you simply because you've been coasting for a bit, right? Uh, Coasting? Shay, Mm. you had so many projects stateside before you left for Bangladesh. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, you know what I mean. Even with a busy schedule and having my hands in many different projects, I felt comfortable with the kind of work that I was doing. So I knew it was time to shake things up, but I shook really hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I I know what you mean. That's Mm. something you and I have always really connected on. We Mm -hmm. both have this unquenchable thirst to try new things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, we understand each other. Mm -hmm. So, anywho, I'm glad to be back and plan the next chapter. Uh, Look out for that in the January newsletter, listeners. Mysterious. I I mean, it's a mystery for me, too, at this point. Anyway, enough with the serious life path questions. Let's infuse a bit of levity, shall we? More bloopers, please. (laughs) Language learning mortal. Oh. Mortal. (laughs) <laughs> it was a small camas ca- camas camas we all know what it's like when someone tries to explain a visual <laughs> representation on a podcast I'm sorry. that was a big sneeze was that what that was exactly the samr model aligns with bloom's revised technology which you, mm, why did you i do always that? do that you always say bloom's technology <laughs> The most important part is us. Mm -hmm. Anna and I. No. No, just (laughs) the teachers. Oh my gosh. (laughs) I know, I know, I know. I'm screwing myself with editing here. You can join the conversation on social media or email us at teacherthinkaloud.com. Thank you all. No, that's not how you email us. (laughs) No, it's no, it's not. (laughs) Good catch. (laughs) Hold on, there's a bus going by. Get out of here, kids. Oh. oh, oh, it's a Hi. Yeti. Hi. It is a Yeti. Hi. Hi Yeti. Welcome to our recording. Oh. I have to steal her away. We're recording. Oh. Chat, Chat GPT. GPT. Uh. <laughs> Can we do that one more time? I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back from the world's strangest commercial break. <laughs> Let's talk about favorite episodes, Shay. Hmm. What stood out for you this year? Well... The non-native English-speaking teachers, or nest episode, really resonated with me deeply. Mm -hmm. Being in Bangladesh when it came out, I witnessed firsthand the bias against Mm. multilingual teachers. So it really struck a chord. Uh, And for me, it highlighted the power of language and the need for us to change our habits Mm -hmm. about how we communicate. Yeah, that was episode 46, listeners, in case you missed it. Mm -hmm. I really loved that episode, too. Alex and Kareen just oozed wisdom and they just have the sweetest relationship, you know? Mm -hmm. Another one that comes to mind for me is the Global Citizenship episode with Brentley Turner. That's Mm -hmm. episode 44. 
I agree. I still remember her saying that you can build your students' global citizenship skills without needing to leave your cultural context. Mm -hmm. There's opportunity to increase awareness in your backyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I appreciated that too. Yeah, Yeah. and of course our AI episode with Jeff McElvena was memorable. Mm -hmm. Yes, episode 48. Jeff gave a lot of practical tips for teachers to leverage ChatGPT in Mm -hmm. the classroom. It was certainly helpful to reflect with Jeff on how the teaching of writing would be dramatically impacted by generative AI. I definitely saw students using ChatGPT in their research writing this Uh semester. So that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's Mm -hmm. the newest and potentially greatest challenge of modern Mm -hmm. teaching. And that's Mm -hmm. why our New Year Friends of the Podcast episode will feature the voices of teachers as they confront the use of AI in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're still accepting contributions, listeners, through the end of the year. Yeah. To participate, reflect on a few questions about your teaching context, your role, and your use of AI in the classroom, and then send us an audio clip with your answers. You can find a list of the questions and instructions on how to submit your response on our website at teacherthinkaloud.com or pinned on our social media accounts. We're so eager to gather ideas from our community and figure out how we can move forward in collaboration with Emergent AI. Oh, and the deadline, Mm. everyone, is December 31st, 2023. So this is your last chance. Sure is. (laughs) Thanks for listening to our plug. (laughs) We hope that you'll submit something. Yeah. Well, coming back to our reflections, We have some favorite episodes in common, Shay, for sure. Mm. But I also wanted to bring up our episode on incorporating music in ELT. That's episode 38. Mm. The clarity and practical directives on how to use music were a game changer. And I also just, you know, I really just loved speaking with our friends Heather and Eche. They're the best. They are. I mean, to think that our friendship blossomed from this podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Just Mm -hmm. a few of the incredible connections that have come out of this project. Yeah, we've had so many incredible Mm -hmm. guests this year. It was great to talk to Miriam Platinsky about her book, Teach More, Hover Less. That was episode Mm -hmm. 42. Miriam was just so personable and so easy to talk to. Mm -hmm. As was our friend Dustin from Sandman Stories Presents podcast. Mm -hmm. His Culture Through Stories episode, episode 43, garnered more listens than our AI episode. It (laughs) seems that storytelling is a pretty hot topic in ELT. Yeah, it's always interesting to see where listener interest lies. Mm -hmm. It's not always predictable, is it? Mm -mm, Not really. (laughs) But we keep our feelers out there and see how we can continue to serve our community. 50 episodes. Yeah, 50, my gosh. I mean, we don't want to brag too much, Mm -hmm. but hitting episode 50 feels pretty monumental. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. Remember when we stumbled upon that stat, like something like 90% of podcasts don't make it past episode 20? Uh uh Uh-huh, I mean, we've not only surpassed that, but more than doubled it, so. Definitely a cause Uh. for celebration. And for gratitude, Anna, um, over the last few months, you know, I've had less time for the podcast and Mm -hmm. I need to express my heartfelt appreciation, Anna, you've been carrying us since my big move to Bangladesh and you produced the last four episodes all on your own. (laughs) Yeah, no, really. I mean, I felt like a mama bear waking up from hibernation and realizing her cubs aren't little babies anymore. They left the den. Uh, But fortunately, you know, I have you as my partner, my co-host bear, and I couldn't be more grateful. (laughs) Okay, this this metaphor went in a strange direction as your metaphors tend to go. Hey, hi. Um, So the episodes are cubs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go with it, okay? End of your loopies or just just my loopies. Like, it's just who I am. It's fine. Just appreciate my appreciation, will you? Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you for saying that, Shay. I'm, you know, I'm really proud of what we've achieved too. Mm -hmm. Uh, Having you as my accountability partner from day one has been invaluable. Hmm. And looking ahead, I'm excited for the next 50 episodes, you know, Mm -hmm. however long that takes, another two, three years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might, it might, but it's worth the grind. You know, the community that we're building around the podcast is just so special. Yeah. Connecting with teachers and experts from all corners of the globe is beyond what I imagined when we started. Mm -hmm. We're so grateful for our listeners and excited to tackle more tough questions in the episodes to come. And speaking of our listeners, 
We would love to hear from you, listeners. What are your end of year reflections? You can share with us on social media or by writing to us at teacherthinkaloud at gmail.com. Mm. As always, we welcome your questions, reflections, and ideas. And remember, we're still receiving contributions for our Friends of the Podcast episodes. Yes. So don't yes. miss out on the opportunity, really. And it is that, I think, to share mm-hmm. your ideas with an international community of impassioned educators. Mm -hmm. Let's rock our way into the new year together. Woo! Yeah. Do the thing. Do the thing, everybody. (laughs) Thanks so much for joining us on the Teacher Think Aloud podcast. And until next time, happy teaching and happy reflecting. Bye.